Hello Cancer, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. Thank you so much for clicking here and welcome to Water Day. Cancer, happy birthday. I hope your season is going good for you so far. What is it for you? Is it a birthday? Is it a birth week? Is it a birthday month? What is it for you? Tell me, Cancer. And happy birthday to you. I have some favorite Cancers myself. Cancer, we are here to read uh, for the week ahead, as we always do with the, um, the particular signs, right? And... Um, we are going to read for the week ahead, but I'm going to do two hands. And so I'm here this week to do a couple of hands. I do this every second week because you all seem to like it. So um, I'm going to do one reading. I'm going to throw down some cards and then we're going to pull up those cards. We're going to put, uh, we're going to pick another deck and we're going to go at it again. And sometimes these readings will, will uh, relate to each other and sometimes they won't. So let's find out what's going on for you. If you are brand new, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll come in and sit down. That subscription button is there right in the bottom right hand corner if you're interested in staying here. And um, hit that bell button so you'll know when I'm uploading. Generally, Tuesdays is the day for the water signs. Um, but uh, if I do get off schedule, at least you'll know when I'm uploading. Let's find out what's going on for you, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's going on on your first hand. What is going on here for Cancer? We do have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like in the week ahead, you begin the week ahead feeling a little bit defensive or feeling like you need to hold your ground on something here. I feel like you want to be alone, honestly, because we do have the Six, six Wands at the bottom here. And the Six Wands is about getting a lot of attention. But when people are pointing at you here, it does feel like you are sort of defending yourself or keeping them at arm's length, um, holding your ground on something. Tell me why Cancer is holding ground. Maybe it's boundaries as well. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Four of Wands. And we have the Five of Wands. Hmm. It's very interesting here. Cancer, I feel like I feel like you are looking for a relationship or you do want to go to the next level or maybe get into something that you could consider like a stable sort of relationship. Now, I feel like this um, relationship, I feel, is with someone who you're very deeply connected to. It feels like we are soulmates, right? Because this 1111, right? It feels like we are soulmates here. But I also want to say that you've been hurt over and over again with the five and the four of wands tells me the nine of wands is here and it tells me that you are the wounded warrior so there is some trauma from the past and so i feel like that's affecting whether how you make this decision or whether or not you do it all i feel like the ace of swords tells me more information is needed you need more clarity i want to talk about it let's really talk about it honestly and truthfully let's get the facts and find out if this is even feasible or not the Five of Wands tells me that this is what you want to do, that you want to open conversation with the person that you want to have join you in the Four of Wands. But the Five of Wands is telling me that you're kind of holding back, that you're in indecision. If I open my mouth and say it, I can't take it back. So I feel like this is what you're holding your ground on here. You are not saying anything, protecting yourself. You might even be protecting your wealth, protecting your home, right? Um, but it feels like somebody here um, wants things to change. I feel like you do want things to change, and I feel like they will in the future. Six of Swords, because there is going to be movement. So tell me why you are very defensive or holding your ground here or maybe trying to protect yourself. Because I feel like you really are trying to manifest something that is really fun and happy and exciting and lovely and and all of that tell me why the seven of wands is here we've got the knight of swords so you've got your your boundaries pretty tight and it feels like um it feels like this conversation is probably going to come sooner than you want it to and you might not be the one who actually brings it up with the four of cups it's time for movement here. We got to talk about it. We have to say something. You have to be brave, like the Knight of Swords. You have to be brave enough uh, to be able to say something about this. You need to be super honest, but I think you're going to have to be the one that opens the conversation, which tells me you're going to have to be a little bit forceful. But the Four of Cups is telling me, but I'm comfortable in my rut. 
I'm really comfortable in my rut. Tell me more. There you are, the chariot. But I do want to have movement. It's like you're in two minds here, Cancer. There's somebody here who really does want to say something. I want to be brave and I want to bring it up. I want to make some changes between me and the person in the Four of Wands. But it's really important for you to be emotionally stable and stable in your fire when we do have this conversation about this. I feel like you want to, to go to the victory. You want to balance things. And I feel like with the two swords here that you're kind of stuck in your head, right? Two swords is like, and you know, the, the knight, <laughs> the knight, I suppose, has like a, a little slit in the mask here, but maybe they don't have a, a very sort of good look at what they think is going on here. Maybe we're traveling too fast, speaking too much, speaking too quickly. Tell me um, about the Four of Wands. Who does Cancer want to have in the Four of Wands? It could be a Gemini. It could be another Cancer. Tell me about the Four of Wands, please, for Cancer. It is about romance. There is a romantic connection here. So it feels like you feel romantically connected to someone. They also could be a water sign, right? We've got a lot of cups here. Um, and the thing is, is that I feel like you, you, you have a feeling or you know that this could be rather good. Like it, it, it's, it's like wish fulfillment, but you're questioning yourself, I think. With this passive night, I feel like you're holding back a little, that you're moving to it super slow because you're trying to get a feel of it, I want to say, without saying anything. You're trying to get a feeling of it here. So the Queen of Cups might be the person um, that we're talking about for you here. They could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer, or have one of those in, in the chart, the big three, which would make sense because that would match your energy. So I feel like what you want clarity on is if this person has romantic feelings for you as well. Because I feel like you are happy when you're in, in the presence of the Queen of Cups. And there's something that's telling you, which I think is your intuition, but most Cancers that I know of, they're like, yeah, it's probably just coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you're one of those cancers that knows that you have more than that. You have psychic intuition, right? I feel like I feel like with this nine of cups looking back at the knight of cups, it feels like there's the ten, right? It feels like you know somebody who is already in the nine of cups and you're ready to bring in one more cup. I feel like it's the queen. But I feel like you're you're very defensive. It's like you you're thinking about it, really thinking about it deeply, trying to get wisdom. Am I healed enough to do this? Do I have what it takes to carry a relationship into the long run? Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Because you you have to talk about your feelings, and that you feel like this thing is bigger than you thought it was. Like, I feel like you have big feelings for someone here. We have uh, the Six of Swords. We have the, the King of Swords. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Look, everybody's up in their head here. So I think that you want to move forward, but you first must get the facts, the honest, the truth, the honesty, the truth. And you must know for certain, right? The King the king of Swords is going to get all the facts. And it, it, it Aquarius needs to know not why the boat is on the water, but why does the boat float? What's in the engine room? Tell me what does it cost to run this thing? Like, it's all about the details for you, right? The, the factual um, specifics. I feel like you are going to have a head over heart communication or a conversation with somebody that you're very attracted to. Um, the Seven of Pentacles tells me that I think that you're you're wondering, is it even worth it? Is this going to go the distance? Is it even worth it that I open a conversation? But I feel like you've been hiding it here. I feel like whatever you want to say, you've been hiding it. Because we do have six swords and then one in the hand of the king is seven. So I feel like what you've been not been telling this person is that you have deeper feelings for them than you care to recognize and say out loud. But I feel like the seven of pentacles is telling me that, that you're waiting waiting for the right time to say it possibly, waiting for, waiting to determine, like get the clarity for yourself first as to whether you think that this is worth it or not. 
I feel like um, I feel like there's two people here that are very attracted to each other, and I feel like you want to feel inspired to talk to this person. I don't think you want to do it because it's something you think you should do because this is the the stage of the game where we're supposed to talk about it. I think that you want to feel inspired. So why are you holding back here? What is making Cancer so freaked out? Tell me what the indecision is here. The Two of Cups, that it's actually that you're in love with this person. And I think that's what you're grappling with, Cancer. I think that's what you're grappling with is like, I really think I'm in love with this person. But if I say it to them, how are they going to feel about that? That's why you're holding back. It's like you you do feel like you are in love with this person. Here we got the King of Wands again. But you, it feels like you must feel inspired to say it. We do have the Hanged Man energy, but you're holding back here. You're holding back and it feels like you're trying to get perspective without asking any questions. <laughs> you're trying to feel it out, Cancer. That's what it feels like. This person is your match, though, I feel. Like this person is is somebody who is who is quite happy on their own. I want to say that they are the Nine of Cups and they're just waiting to, you know, they're waiting there with one cup to see who wants it. This person is looking for ultimate emotional happiness. Maybe you feel like you can't give that to them. But it does feel like you two have fun when you're together. There's celebration, celebratory times. I feel like you you see this person now and again. It feels to me like it's two people who are kind of trying to figure each other out at a distance before we actually start talking about our feelings. And this person, I feel like, you know, when you're around them, they feel like happiness. They feel like they make you emotionally stable in your happiness, I think. This person is also someone who is quite... Um, well off in their on their own in their own right they could be someone who's a spiritual teacher possibly we do have the hierophant that is taurus energy but i feel like you haven't yet said anything about it but you're gonna have to and i think that when you do say it you're going to provoke the queen of swords so i feel like the king is here the queen is here this is a soulmate for sure this person might make you a little bit nervous because if this person is the queen of swords this person is somebody who is just going to tell tell you like it is. Like you're going to come at them as the King of Swords and they're just going to counter as the Queen of Swords. So however honest you think you can be, they're going to be very honest as well. So I feel like you're here. That's where it feels like you are right now. You're here trying to get a, a perspective because you know that it's not just attraction that makes people compatible. You know that it has to be on both sides, right? What happens um, to this couple here? What happens? What is Cancer going to do here? I feel Cancer, if you do bring it up, this person is going to be very compassionate and loving and kind, but they're going to be honest and truthful, and, and this person is going to give you the goods honestly and truthfully, and I think that's what you're kind of waiting on. It's like, can I, can I handle the truth, right? Because you're going to get the truth. We do have the Six of Pentacles, we have Justice, and we have the Nine of Swords. So I really do feel like there is going to be justice here. I feel like we're bringing an old cycle to an end, a cycle of silence, worry. I feel like um, that you will get justice and the reciprocity. This person feels the same way you do. Whatever you pour into them is whatever they're going to pour back. This person is somebody who is feeling like you are an abundant connection. They're feeling like a commitment could work. They see the commitment. And they're waiting for you right? They see a commitment in the distance. They're waiting for you to say something because you're dealing with an empress and the empress would never chase. The empress is not going to open up that conversation. The empress is going to wait for, the, for um, the, the person who is pursuing them to pursue them. So I feel like the king of wands is like, if you want this love cancer, it's yours, but you must pursue this person. First, you have to get out of the tree. You have to cut yourself out of the tree, my friend. I know you think it's balance there. You think that it's stability there because stability is really important to you, but it's not. It's perspective and you can't do the self-sacrifice thing. I feel like your intuition is already telling you that this person is in because they do give you reciprocal energy, but you're still scared to make a decision. What is your decision, Cancer? Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Five of Cups. You're scared that if you say something to this person, 
Um, that's why you're up in your head here with the Eight of Swords. You've put yourself in this mental prison. And the place where you've left yourself in the mental prison is, if I say to this person, I have more feelings for you um, than... I, that I want to tell you about that this person might sit, might end the friendship right they might not want to put as much effort into it and then you're going to be sad you're going to be broken hearted here so think it over I feel like this person is somebody who's going to be kind and compassionate this person is holding their cup out for you they're waiting for you to take it they're not going to chase you um Especially if you're the masculine, because the empress is the feminine, right? Is feminine or masculine, but it feels like, because I pulled a king here, it feels like the empress is waiting for the king to find inspiration. Because the empress is not going to push the issue. I'm not going to chase you, because what if, you, what if you're not interested, right? Like, the empress knows their worth. And so, they're ready for you to ask. I feel like it works out in your favor, because justice is here. But you're going to have to make a decision about whether you want to invest or not. And how you want to invest like I feel like the secret here is you're you're not telling the Empress that you want to invest yeah temperance is here you're gonna wait for the moment of alchemy you're gonna wait until you feel the energetic shift and I think that's that's perfect you are gonna get the victory that's all I'm gonna say you are gonna get the victory if you decide to open your mouth I feel like this person feels the same way that you do about the situation we've got virgo energy here we've got uh libra um scorpio pisces cancer aries sagittarius leo energy we've got cancer here libra gemini aquarius uh, we've got more gemini energy lots of aquarius gemini lots of swords there's a lot of thinking going on with you for sure all right Second hand, Cancer. Let's find out what else is going on for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer, please. What's coming up in the week ahead for Cancer? Cancer, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is that? Somebody's putting the hard work in on something or admiring their work. Wondering if they have gone over all the details. Is it good enough? I think you're wondering, have I done enough? Am I good enough? Do I have enough? That's what it feels like here. Somebody here is, somebody here is um, looking toward the, the Ten of Cups. The interesting thing is there's a star right there and this is the star. So it, it does feel like it feels like you're you're wondering if you have enough, if you've done enough, if you are enough. I feel like you've been working on yourself. I feel like you've been healing from something. It could be healing from something in the 3D, like a physical wound. Like maybe your body wasn't working properly and you got ill. Or it is um, working really hard. Like maybe you're working really hard. But I feel like it's um, it's something that you need to heal. Because the star is here. Tell me more about this. Got the six of swords. Movement. If I heal, maybe there will be movement with the ten of cups. Hmm, sounds like the last read, right? Tell me why the eight of pentacles is here for cancer. Tell me why the eight of pentacles is here. If we move forward together, we need to do it in a very healed way. I'm looking at the four of swords that are over this person's shoulder, right? Looks like it is the left shoulder. We want to leave the two swords behind. So I feel like somebody's taking the four because those are the healing ones. And then we have the healing energy of the wish fulfillment of the star. So I want to say that I feel like what your wish fulfillment is and what you've been after all of your life or trying to work really hard to get is family is a family unit. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Got the Six of Pentacles, got the Ace of Wands, got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel, Cancer, that you're the person who's used to doing all the giving. Because Cancer's like that, right? You're very, you're giving and kind and compassionate. You are the person who, who gives everything right everything and i feel like with the six of 
the Six of Pentacles, what you've been experiencing is that people have just been taking, right? These people are on their way. They've already got their hand full. This one's got their hand out. You're about to give that to the person. They're not even looking at you. I feel like you're the person who gives everything, that you're always ready there to help. You're always ready to help other people. Ten of Swords in the reverse here. And the Ten of Swords in the reverse is like somebody here doesn't want it to end. They don't they don't want the ending. I'm having fun on this exciting new path and I don't want it to end. Because Ten of Swords in the reverse to me is someone who's holding off an ending because they know it'll be painful. So either you want to end something. Oh, that's what it is. You want to end your Ace of Wands ways. Like, that's what it feels like. That maybe you're a person who who didn't think you'd ever, like, settle down. And maybe the Ace of Wands is telling me that you're used to travel. You're used to having fun. You're used to going where you want to go, when you want to go there, right? And if you, if you do get into this family way here, that you feel like you'll be restricted. Ten of Swords is in the reverse. You feel like you'll be restricted into what you can do, how hard you can work. Like, is someone going to tell me, are you working again? Do you know what I mean? Like, somebody doesn't want to feel restricted to the Eight Pentacles. Tell me more. We've got the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Judgment card. And we've got the King of Cups. So you're, again, it's like the, the last one. It's like it's a it's a different side of this... this um, this uh, continuance here, it looks like. We've got the the two of pentacles, and it looks like somebody here is trying to make a decision, like a real-time decision in the pentacle world, back and forth, back and forth. Juggling. Should I just get in the boat and go, or should I just keep try and keep steady here? Should I stay or should I go? Because I want to say that things around you are a little bit tumultuous, and it's taken some time for you to learn how to how to juggle things back and forth. I feel like you work really hard, Cancer. You're a really hard worker. We have eight pentacles and two is ten. So I feel like you you keep yourself busy. You're a very busy person. You're always trying to stack your pentacles, working really hard, honing a skill. We do have a, a judgment card here. And it's about... It's about resurrecting something here. Something that's really abundant. So for some of you, it could be that you're looking at, should I should I take another chance at that thing? Because I think that thing is love. I think you're the king of cups. I feel like you, should I take another chance? It's like, it's not another person, like it's not an old person coming back around. But I think it's you saying, Cancer, should I take the chance? Should I take another chance to love again? I feel like you want to make a change. We've got the death card here, and we've got the hanged man energy here. So it's like you've got a different perspective now on something. And I think that that something is, is that you've been on the Ace of Wands path by yourself. And I feel like although you're always there for everybody, pouring into people as they pour into you, I feel like um, that you feel that if you decide to get into the Ten Cups, that this Ace of Wands will end. That you'll no longer be able to have fun. You'll no longer be able to be excited or travel or, or be, yeah on the road <laughs> like it feels like somebody here feels like if they if they decide they want to be in the ten cups the relationship or the family way that it feels like somebody here thinks that like the old days are over and that's it i'm gonna have to change and i'm gonna have to get a different perspective and i'm gonna have to put in a lot of hard work and and it's true relationships are hard work but i think that i'm i've got somebody here wondering if it's worth it because i feel like you've been you've been in this place before and you have lost at love. I feel like you've brought your feelings to the surface. And when you did, it just didn't work out for you. Tell me about the... I think you're making a decision. It feels like a decision that, that needs to be made. And you're going back and forth. And it's like, do I pour out the cup? Or do I go to the Ten of Cups? What is, um, what is Cancer going to do here? It's like you don't want it to end, though. Because it's it's really abundant. But if you're going to say something, you've got to say something. You might be dealing with someone who is an Aquarius, possibly. A Virgo. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, uh, Piscean energy is here as well. It does feel here, Cancer, that you are... 
it feels like it's a it's been a long time that you are thinking about this though but you're keeping it under wraps like you're you're keeping it under wraps you're keeping your feelings under wraps you're really not saying anything you're holding it down i feel like there is somebody in your life the queen of pentacles and this person is very focused on their abundance they're focused on either you know staying in their abundant stability somebody this person could be a business owner could run a business this person i feel is kind of has their back to you making this decision and i think that's why it's taking you a long time because i don't think that this person gives you a lot of their attention i think that most of their attention is on their work and it's been like that for a long time tell me why the ten, the seven of swords is here ten of pentacles Six of Cups and the Two of Wands. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision. I feel like you're preparing to do that right now. And I feel like you see the abundance in this relationship with somebody that you have a lot of history with. The Six of Cups is here. And so I feel like you have, you have history, you have love history with this person. And they are a comfort to you. It's almost like they are the comfort zone at some point. Um, I feel like um, that you do want to give them a cup. We've got the one cup that's on the pedestal here. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. I think that you haven't told this person that you do want a long-term relationship and that this is somebody that you've known for a really long time and I feel like this is somebody that you wish to take with you on your travels, right? He has his hand on her elbow. So I feel like it's someone that you wish to take with you throughout the world on the travels, but it's time to make a decision because the Two of Swords is here. I think you will make a decision. The sun is at the bottom of the deck. Tell me what the decision is here. With this judgment card, tell me what the decision is for Cancer. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, and the King of Swords are going to say something. I feel like you're super attracted to this person, but you do need clarity from them. Are they in or are they out? Because both of these queens have their back to the king. So I feel like you want to say something, but you're going to have to tap this person on the shoulder and get their attention. Because this person is independent. They're super, maybe hyper-independent, and that's kind of a trauma thing. But this person is hyper-independent. They make their own money. They might have their own business. And the Ace of Swords is telling me, you need clarity. What are we doing from here? Because I'm my feelings are growing, and I don't know what to do with it. And I'm thinking about the Ten of Cups, and that we might be able to heal this, or this is your wish fulfillment, is to move forward to the Ten of Pentacles, right? That's what we got here, the Swords here. Can we heal enough to move forward to the Ten Pentacles? So... I'm sorry, but it looks like both of these readings, they kind of related to each other. I feel like you're going to get your justice. This person just wants to adore you, I just want to say. I feel like if you say something, you're going to be surprised. I feel like somebody in your energy just wants to adore you, Cancer. They do see you as somebody who is an authority, though. They do see you as somebody who is very truthful and honest. Somebody who wouldn't lead them astray, like a good leader, um, a very just justified leader this is like the judge the magistrate the person who would never lead you astray somebody here trusts you they think you're trustworthy so i feel like the queen if you can get her attention is going to follow the king that's what it feels like here whether you are the queen or the king take it as it resonates i'm gonna leave it right here thank you cancer for coming here and watching i do appreciate you i'll be back because i'm always back thanks for coming to watch in bye bye